When these sides last met in October, Treviso beat Edinburgh by five points in Scotland. The Italians have been in good form at the Stadio di Monigo, four wins in a row in all competitions. But Edinburgh have shown some good form of late under Stevie Scott and Duncan Hodge, albeit they suffered defeat last time out at home to Connacht. Edinburgh's interim coaching team were looking for a positive response to that defeat, and they got it early on. After a third-minute Greg Laidlaw penalty, the Scots made a decisive breakthrough. Two Scottish internationals combining. Tim Visser found centre Matt Scott, who had a clear run to the line from inside the 22. When Laidlaw converted, it was ten points to nil to Edinburgh. Treviso had won just one of their previous six encounters against Scottish opposition, that game against Edinburgh earlier in the season, and they were struggling to get a foothold in this game. After a couple of earlier misses, Alberto Di Bernardo finally found his range in the 26th minute for the home side's first score of the match, leaving a converted try between the sides. Eventually, the Italians ground their way back into the game, seven minutes before the break came a significant moment. As Paul Derbyshire was bursting through, fullback Tom Brown stuck out a leg to stop him. With confirmation from his assistant, the referee, Mark Patton, produced the yellow card for Brown. He couldn't argue with the decision. And Di Bernardo added three points from the resultant penalty to completely punish the misdemeanor. Now it was Treviso 6, Edinburgh 10. And with the visitors down to 14 men, the Italians seized the moment. Manoa Vasawi had just come on as a substitute for Derbyshire and made an immediate impact when crossing over for Treviso's first try of the match from off the back of the scrum. It was his second try of the campaign. Di Bernardo added the two points with an easy conversion and at half-time Treviso led 13-10. With that boost before the break, the Italians came out with a spring in their step and Di Bernardo tagged on another penalty before another substitute got in on the try-scoring act in the 60th minute. Michele Rizzo getting over for Treviso's second try of the game. The prop doing well to battle his way over and make it 21 points to 10. Di Bernardo once again added the extra two points and Treviso had a comfortable-looking 23 points to 10 lead. Seven minutes from time, substitute Eduardo Gori's night was cut short. The referee wasn't happy when the substitute came from an offside position to nick the ball right in front of the official. Out came the yellow card, and off went Gori, who'd been on the field for less than ten minutes. Treviso were then reduced to 13 men four minutes later. Another substitute, Ignacio fernandez Ruye, fell foul of the referee when he pulled back Dougie Fife off the ball. The referee didn't like what he saw, and it was another yellow card. Despite being down to 13 men, it was the home side who came up with the last score of the match. Forsaking a kick at goal, Treviso went for the try and were rewarded. Italian international Simone Favaro getting over the line as the match clock ticked past 80 minutes. The flanker using his bulk to just make it over the line. And Di Bernardo converted to leave a final score of 30 points to 10 for the home side. Treviso consolidating their position in the table and emphasising how difficult they are to beat at home. That's now two defeats in a row for Edinburgh who finished their campaign at home to Dragons on the 3rd of May. Final score at the Stadio di Monigo, Treviso 30, Edinburgh 10.